Yeah, it's just another Sunday morning in Bangkok. Yeah, that's the way it goes. It's just another sad Sunday morning in the city of Bangkok. And there's been rain overnight and the temperatures have plummeted. They've gone down to about 24, 25 degrees, which is heaven. It's beautiful. And a little bit of, a little bit of dampness around. Not the dry, humid heat that we know so well in Bangkok. So, what's going on today? Yeah, we're going up to a place now where um, I've, I've always wanted to go and see it actually. It's uh, Lumpini Park and it's one of the famous parks in one of the famous cities. Uh, we're going to go discover Lumpini. Just in the background, you can see the spew of Bangkok. And we are quite close to the financial hub of Bangkok. This is Bolonjit, where all the embassies are, major embassies. And a lot of big businesses around here too. So nicely tucked away inside the heartbeat of Bangkok is this lumpy. Did you see any monsters yet? Did you see him? Did you see the monster? Yeah, this drama on the lake this morning, on the Sunday morning, the peace has been broken. The, the lizard, the giant lizard has just caught a snake and enjoyed a snake for his breakfast and about a meter two meters away is a cat so we hope that the cat doesn't get involved in this little uh, little feast this little sun sunday brunch that's going on down there oh <laughs> he's chewing away on that snake let's see if we can catch it let's see if we can get some images it's a bit far away but here we go What would Sunday be? What would a Sunday morning or a Sunday be in Bangkok without a market? <laughs> Nothing. Think about buy a pair of shoes. Maybe not. Yeah, it is, it is the weekend market. It's the Bangkok weekend market, and uh, it's not the first time we've been here. And you, you can see that COVID still has. A stranglehold on the tourism in, in Bangkok you know I mean it's quite nice actually there are there are just lots and lots of people here and it's not completely overrun um, but it's a great market it really is and it's it's got one of those labels I'm not sure what the label is I think it's like the biggest in Asia or uh, the biggest they've all got a label every market seems to have a label and this has one Yeah, it looks like it's time to eat. It's not really the end of the day, it's not really the end of the market, but it looks like it's time to eat because when you're in Thailand, there is no time to eat. Drink. Have you got some of those funky, uh, funky teas? Some of those funky teas, cold teas. It's 
not really a food hall, it's not really a, a food market within the market, it just seems to be like a section where um, vendors have just sprouted from the ground and, and well it's, it's all in good spirit. I've got no idea what's been ordered but let's go and take a look and see what she's doing. The lady, oh there's a bit of a... Uh, A bit of fried egg going on in there. I hope that's for me. Yeah, that was obviously the spice going in, the meat going in, there's a bit of sugar going in, there's a bit of fish sauce going in, there's a bit of soy sauce going in. It's all kicking off now for the time and a bit of oyster sauce just to flavour it up there at the very end and then the holy basil gets gets absolutely murdered. The holy basil gets absolutely murdered, she throws a, hand, a spoonful of water inside it just to give it a little bit of a little bit of a juice. What she got there, she's got some yeah, she's got. Oh, well, she's got a bit of morning glory. A bit of morning glory. Those those peppers are the fumes from those peppers coming out. She had. She got. Jesus Christ, man. She got some morning glory. Yeah, she's got the same. <coughs> she got some morning glory, which is like a Thai kind of uh, spinach. Oh, look what's on the table. The egg. The fried egg was for me, or for us. Let's take a look, huh? I think every meal in Thailand should be rounded off with a dollop of coconut ice cream with peanuts and little, little jellies on the top. Oh, I love this stuff, really. That's nice cream.